All right, buckle up because episode two of Uzumaki is here, and things are getting seriously weird in Kuro's village. If you thought the first episode was a trip, just wait. They are throwing everything at us this time, from human pretzels to mutant snails. And let's be real, the animation it gets a little wacky, especially when our lovebirds are getting chased by their parents. It's like are they running or trying out for the next big cartoon slapstick chase scene? We start with Kazunori and Yoriko, two high school. Love birds with a problem. Their families hate each other, like Romeo and Juliet, but with extra spirals. They are hiding out in a shed, just casually mourning their doomed relationship. Suddenly, they see two snakes all twisted up together, like they're having the world's weirdest PDA contest. Spoiler alert! It's a sign of things to come. Fast forward, Kazunori is getting the beatdown of a lifetime from Yoriko's parents, because you know, young love. Just when things look rough, our girl Kiri swoops in like a hero, saving him from a spiral-induced family feud. Kazunori tells her our parents are twisted, and I'm sitting here thinking, buddy, you don't know the half of it. These two love struck teens decide to run away, but it's Uzumaki, so naturally, their parents catch them mid-escape. Here's where things get extra strange. As they run away and the animation suddenly feels like it's stuck in slow motion, Kazunori and Yoriko start coiling their bodies together like human pretzels. Yeah, that's the thing now. They finally become one and twist themselves into the ocean. Love truly knows no bounds or bonds apparently. Now let's switch gears to the real nightmare. Kiri is here. One day it's normal, next day it's like she's auditioning for the ring sequel. Her hair goes full spiral mode, growing at an alarming rate, hypnotizing people and even attacking a barber. You heard that right. Her hair goes full on fist of the north star on the poor salon lady. Then comes Kyoko. Kiri classmate who's like I see your curly like, hair and I raise you a competitive spiral. spiral. It's a spiral of Kyoko's hair grows out too and she tries to strangle Kiri with it. Luckily Shuichi shows up to cut Kiri's hair which returns her to normal. Kyoko on the other hand isn't so lucky. Her hair drains the life out of her leaving her like a noodle that's been overcooked. Yikes. And we can't forget Mitsuru. This guy is obsessed with Kiri and thinks pulling the most extreme moves will win her over. He confesses his love and when Kiri once again rejects him, what does he do? He runs into traffic. Yup, Mitsuru tries to prove his love by stopping a car with the power of love. Spoiler, love doesn't stop cars. He gets squished and in the saddest twist of all, his grand romantic gesture, a clown toy in a gift box. Like really? If he thought a clown would win her over, dude had no chance from the start. But wait, there's more. Katayama, one of the students, is turning into a literal snail. He's climbing school buildings and everyone's just fine with it. In Kuruzu village, you can turn into a snail and nobody bats an eye. Katayama's bully, Sumaru, also turns into a snail after touching him. Yup, snail love is real folks, because the two snails start mating. Even their homeroom teacher smashes their eggs to stop the curse, but surprise surprise, the next day, the teacher himself is a snail too. Karma's got a spiral twist, huh? Now, for the black lighthouse, it's been inactive for years, but now it's lit up and everyone's intrigued. Kiri and her brother go investigate because apparently no one in this village believes in avoiding creepy places. Inside they find dead bodies and surprise, more spirals as they try to escape one of the boys fall victim to the lighthouse light, spiraling into oblivion. By the way, can we talk about how they are throwing in so many weird things at once? We have got hair battles, snail people, a cursed lighthouse and let's not forget Mitsuru's tragic clown gift love story. At some point, Points, it feels like the show just said, screw it, let's go full chaos. And seriously, that chase scene with Kazunori and Yoriko, the animation was all over the place. They looked like they were either gliding or stuck in a slow motion dream. Weird flex Uzumaki, but okay. In the end, Kiri is left wondering if there is any escape from this spiraling nightmare. But one thing's for sure. In Kurozu village, things will only keep twisting from here. Buckle up for more madness because this ride's only getting started.